Some breaking news out of Arizona, by the way. Police say an arrest has been made in connection with a break-in at the campaign headquarters of Democratic gubernatorial candidate Katie Hobbs. NBC's Vaughn Hillier joins me now from Phoenix. Vaughn, what can you tell us both about the break-in and about this arrest? Right, Chris, this break-in took place, as we were told, on Monday night at the campaign headquarters in the heart of central Phoenix of Democrat Katie Hobbs. The Phoenix PD responded to a call yesterday afternoon from the Hobbs campaign reporting this burglary. There were items, we are told, that were taken. It is not clear whether this was politically motivated or not. Neither the Hobbs campaign or the Phoenix PD are providing details about exactly what was taken from the campaign headquarters. There were a couple uh, footage, uh, a couple uh, photographs that were taken from surveillance footage inside of this office that the Hobbs campaign believes is the individual here who is ultimately arrested, the person of interest in this in, in this case. Uh, at the same time, this individual was arrested. And we are waiting for more details from the Phoenix PD, again, as to what exactly was stolen from the campaign headquarters and whether this was politically motivated. Carrie Lake uh, pushed back explicitly last night, suggesting that anybody who would try to make the case that this was somehow politically connected or politically motivated uh, would, uh, would essentially amounting to an unjust campaign that had no evidence or no actual substance, uh, a substantive backing to it. Of course, that is why we are waiting and pressing the Phoenix PD to provide exactly what their investigation has led to at this point, because we are just 12 days from this midterm election. And of course, when you hear a campaign headquarters being broken into, of course, there's reason to have heightened attention, heightened concern as to what led that individual into that specific building.